Well, to determine any problems in the power steering system, it has to be tested. And a very common complaint besides leaking is poor assist. And with poor assist, it could be the power steering pump, it could be the flow control valve, or it could be the directional control valve, and it's very difficult to tell without proper test equipment. And under, and if you have to understand how the system works to properly test it. So we'll have a brief look at uh, testing and make sense of it. We need to monitor the pressure. And this is a power steering pressure test kit. And basically it's got a pressure gauge and a valve. And you feed the gauge from uh, the pump to the pressure gauge and then on the other side of that is a valve and to uh, test the uh, power steering pump maximum pressure you have to provide a restriction and that's the job of the valve so if the valves open it, it the uh, power steering system will work normally but with the valve closed you provide that restriction and the power steering pump thinks assist is required and with uh, um, the uh, valve closed it's going to build up maximum pressure because there's no return and when you build up maximum pressure uh, we were able to monitor it on the gauge so briefly we will close the valve with the valve closed, we're asking this pump to push out as much pressure as it can. Now we only close the valve briefly. Watch the gauge, it should go up to about 1350 PSI before the relief valve uh, relieves it. So we do that briefly, one, uh, two or three seconds, turn, let it open, let the uh, oil circulate and then close it again and then take an average uh, reading. Uh, and that would be the maximum output of that power steering pump. When the valve is open, the, there is some restriction with uh, the various valves and the reading should be around 200 or 150 PSI. So now we have what the pump can do. We know what the pump can do and it's putting out uh, enough pressure uh, to pass uh, the test. If the pump checks out okay and there's still an assist uh, problem. What we want to do then is tre uh, check the directional control valve. And with the test kit still hooked up to the power steering pump, we'll move the steering wheel or turn the, the steering wheel until we hit the lock on the right and record the pressure. And it should be close within 20 psi or so to the maximum pressure. And then we do th the left also and they should be equal and they should be close to maximum. But if there's an assist problem, we can now differentiate the problem between the power steering pump or the directional control valve. If the directional control valve does not give equal uh, pressure or close to maximum, it must be replaced. You saw the pictures of it. It's a, a highly machined and seal, uh, with uh, Teflon seals. It can fail and especially in uh, power rack and pinion units, it, it fails, uh, is a common thing for it to fail in, in those units and the rack and pinion should be then replaced. Now it's time to check a power steering system. And in this picture, you can see the gauge to the right. Uh, it's upside down in this, this picture, but that's, that's the way it goes. It is the line to the right goes up uh, or goes back to the power steering pump and the valve that will cause the restriction for testing the brass valve is on the left and it goes up to the uh, line that goes to the, uh, either the the directional control valve of the steering gear or the directional control valve of the power rack and pinion the power steering tests should be done at idle and when you test the power steering pump, you should 
uh, close the valve for a second or two uh, and take a reading and do that three times, open it up again and uh, uh, they should all be within 10 PSI, all three readings. So uh, here we go, here's the uh, video of actually testing a power steering system. Okay, so we got about 200 pounds there. Okay, turn the steering wheel to a hard lock. I saw 1425 to the other direction, please. Okay, back to straight ahead. Okay, now we're going to close off the restriction to bring the pressure up. Okay, 14, 25 or so. Good. Okay, this pump looks okay. Shut it off, please. Well, that's the overview of power steering and from the pump to the directional control valve and whatnot. Um, um, testing's important and accurate testing is, is the key to uh, pro proper uh, repair and understanding is the key to diagnostics. So thank you very much.